goats, the earliest known domesticated farm animal. Today there are more than 400 million of them worldwide. Then there's this little guy. He doesn't get the attention of, say, the more fashionable Angora goat. He's a fainting goat, and he's got a different talent. Lisa Johnson breeds goats in Florida. These goats are called myotonic goats. Many people call them fainting goats, wooden leg goats, stiff leg goats, nervous goats, the Tennessee goats, uh, Tennessee meat goats. So they just have all kinds of nicknames for them. They carry the hereditary gene for myotonia congenita. What happens is that when the goat is startled or excited, it causes a very temporary stiffening of the muscles. And when the muscles relax, after a few seconds, the goat jumps up and runs on its way. They don't call them feigning goats for nothing. It can even be something as simple as being excited over being fed. The adult animals um, typically um, they keep their balance better, and what they will end up doing is uh, pretty much bracing on four legs. While it might seem easy to make fun of the fainting goat, there are scores of breeders who love them just the way they are. With us now is a goat lover and expert, Donna Hatcher, who owns the Bedrock Fainters, a herd in Center Hill, Florida. Donna, thanks so much for helping us out here. you got to tell us, why do these guys faint? They get stiff. They actually have a rush and they get stiff and it only lasts a few seconds. That doesn't hurt them at all. Well, what startles them? Is it noise? Is it sudden movement? What does it? Um, lots of things can do it. Um, noise or excitement to come to their feet. Do they ever make each other uh, faint? Um, no. No. They're normal like any other goat. They play in butt heads. They don't faint for that. Donna, are these animals, are they smart? They're very intelligent. Um, they know exactly what time it is when it's time to go feeding. I call girls and all the girls will come. I'm able to walk in the woods out back with these guys. They stay right with me. I like these goats better than any other breed I've ever had. Better than a dog? They're easy. Well, they kind of act like a dog. Um, they're soothing. They're um, personable. Most of them know their own name. You have names for them like, like pets? Who do you have yeah. with you right now? This is Misty. This is Jersey, that is Isabel, there's J-Lo, Junebug, Lydia, that's Bambi, Julia's way in the back there. They seem pretty affectionate too, are they? They're very affectionate and once they hit a certain age, they don't jump up on you. They're a very hardy, stable goat. Well, Donna, thank you so much. Okay, thank you.